Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UKM-401 MV 4-input KVM switch with multi-viewer capabilities. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to connect four different HDMI media devices or computers to a single ultra-high definition monitor at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on that monitor at any given time by simply tapping a button on the front of the unit or by using the included infrared remote control. It also provides KVM functionality, which allows you to connect the single keyboard and mouse up to the unit and have that follow your input selection. It also provides multi-viewer capabilities that allows you to combine several of the inputs on that single monitor at the same time. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with all of your modern media equipment and your computers. The unit also provides audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio component from the HDMI media stream and then allow you to pass that along through an analog or digital connection to a soundbar or home stereo for that full theater experience. It even provides additional USB 3.0 connections for all your external peripherals. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then, I'll list the features and functions the product provides. I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain the connections and indicators so you understand exactly how to use it. And then I'll come back one more time and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the product. You'll find a single 12 volt, 2.5 amp power supply. You can plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar, and that plugs directly into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find four identical USB cables that you can use to connect your computer up to the unit if you'd like to take advantage of the KVM functionality. You'll also find an infrared extender module because if you mount this inside of the cabinet and you block that receiver port on the front, you can plug this into the back of the unit and then locate this module outside of the cabinet so you can still use the infrared remote control. You'll also find a bracketing kit you can use to mount this up off the ground and out of the way, and an RS-232 connection block that you can use to actually control the unit from a local computer. An infrared remote control is also included which makes it really easy to make your adjustments from a distance away from the product. A warranty card and a full instruction manual is also included that explains everything you'll need to know about the product, including connection diagrams and specifications. So always read through that manual to get the best value out of the product. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll list the features and functions, I'll take a closer look at the unit, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The O-Ray UKM-401MV is compatible with all modern computer systems, including mini PCs, Mac computers, all-in-one PCs, Windows computers, and laptops. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content, it provides four HDMI input connections, it is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, it provides full KVM functionality with additional USB 3.0 connections, and offers multi-view capabilities. The O-Ray UKM-401MV features a full metal enclosure which makes it incredibly durable and a great choice for both residential and commercial installations. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting holes on both sides that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount the unit up off the ground and out of the way. On the bottom of the unit are four rubber feet that help to protect the surface you set it down on and keep it from sliding around during operation. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a power button. The minute you add power to the unit, you can tap that button to turn it on. When you turn the unit on, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics just to make sure everything is working okay. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. Above that is a USB 3.0 port that can be used for external peripherals like a camera or a microphone or a hard drive. To the right of the power button are four LEDs labeled one through four and a fifth LED labeled auto. These indicate which of the inputs is currently being sent to your monitor. You have a choice of putting it into auto mode and in auto mode, whichever product comes online first will be displayed. 
and you can change which of these inputs is being sent to the output by tapping this input button right over here. The auto button turns on the automatic mode for the unit. In the center is an infrared receiver window and that's used with the remote control and that's where those signals are picked up. So when you set this up on your media center or on your desk, make sure that window is visible if you're using the remote control. I'd already explained the auto button to put it in automatic mode. The input button allows you to step through the inputs one at a time by simply tapping that button. To the right of that is multi-viewer mode. You can put this unit in multi-viewer mode and there are several different selections for multi-view and you can move through those by tapping this button right here. Finally, to the right of that is a resolution button. This unit supports a wide variety of different monitor resolutions and you can select that by tapping this button to step through those choices. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left on the top is a hotkey switch. You can actually switch between the inputs by turning on the hotkey mode by flipping this switch to the on position. To the right of that is a USB-C port that's labeled wire remote, and that's used for updating the firmware on the module if needed later on. You can also connect that up to a specialized remote to make your choices. To the right of that are two USB ports right here, used for keyboard and mouse, and again, those are shared across all your peripherals. Below that are audio outputs. There's an analog left and right, an optical, and another HDMI port for your monitor. This unit provides audio extraction capabilities from your inputs, and you can actually send that audio through an analog or a digital connection to a soundbar, home stereo, or powered speakers on your desktop. The HDMI port to the right of that connects to the monitor you'd like to use for displaying the output. To the right of that, you'll find four inputs, HD1, HD2, 3, and 4. These connect to your computers or your media devices you'd like to share across that single monitor. Above that are USB connections that enable the KVM functionality for the keyboard and mouse. So you'll make a connection to a USB port on your computer here and an HDMI connection here. Always use high quality HDMI cables for these and this one to ensure you get the best possible picture. To the right of those are two more USB 3.0 ports right here that can be used for additional peripherals. Below that is an RS-232 port. This unit can actually be controlled over RS-232 by making a connection from here to one of your local computers. To the right of that is an infrared extender. If you locate this unit in a cabinet, maybe a media cabinet, or someplace behind a door, you won't be able to use the remote control with the receiver module up front, and there's an infrared extender module included. And you'll plug that in right here and locate that module outside of the cabinet to receive those remote control signals. Finally, to the right of that is a DC input port labeled DC 12 volts, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that power supply into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar. You'll plug that in here and finger tighten that collar to make sure it doesn't pop out. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up three small media players, each of them displaying a different image just to make it easy to tell them apart. I've also set up a mini PC because I wanted to show you that you can easily mix and match a wide variety of different media devices on the unit at the same time. And this is the media content I'd like to display on my output monitor. Over here I've set up an ultra high definition display as my output device, and this is where I'd like to enjoy the content from my four media devices. In front of me, I have the UKM-401MV. Now the first set of connections I'll make are from the media devices directly to the unit, and I've already connected high-speed HDMI cables up to each of the devices. The other end of those cables plug directly into the HDMI input number one, number two, number three, and finally number four in the back of the unit. And it's really important you use a high-quality HDMI cable for these connections to ensure the best possible picture on your output display. And now we're ready to connect up the monitor. I've got another high-speed HDMI cable connected there. The other end of that cable plugs into the HDMI output port in the back of the unit. And now we're ready for power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar, and this plugs directly into the DC input port, and you can finger tighten the collar. Now the minute I add power and turn it on, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics. It's also checking the resolution of my input devices and the resolution of the monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. And that takes a couple of seconds to happen. And once that finishes, you'll get the display. Right now I'm on input number one, which is the computer. If I'd like to switch to input number two, I can tap the input button right here. There's input number two, tap it again. There's input number three, tap it again. 
there's input number four. Now I'll go back to input number one by tapping it the last time. And now that I'm back in input one, which is the computer, I wanna show you how the KVM functionality works because that's a major advantage of this product. What the KVM feature allows you to do is to connect the keyboard mouse up to the unit and then as you switch between the inputs, that keyboard and mouse will follow your selection. So if I had more than one computer connected, I could have a single mouse and actually move that between all my computers. To enable that function, you'll need to make a USB connection from the computer directly to the unit. And there are four cables included in the kit that help you make that connection. I've already plugged it into the mini PC. The other end plugs in just above the input for number one. And once I've made that connection, now all the USB ports on here are live. So I can plug this dongle in from my wireless mouse on the back. And the minute I do that, the computer recognizes the fact that I've got a wireless mouse plugged in and you can see it's moving around on the screen. And again, as I switch through the inputs, that mouse will follow my selection. So if I had multiple computers connected, I only need you know, one set of uh, mouse and keyboard to actually move between those different units. So it's a really versatile unit that allows you to quickly switch between four inputs to a single output, and it has that KVM functionality enabled for all four of the inputs. Now, one other feature this product provides is the multi-viewer capabilities, and you can step through those by tapping the multi-viewer button right here. And there are seven settings that you can walk through in the multi-viewer mode. And what that's gonna do is combine some of the inputs on a single screen. So let me step through that. So I'll put it in multi-viewer mode. And the first one that comes up is a large one and a small one. There's two medium-sized ones that take up half the screen. There's the third selection. Here's the fourth selection, fifth. And again, you can customize this for whatever your needs are. If you have multiple security cameras connected, um, you can actually see all those at the same time like you can here where you've got the grid of four. If I tap it again, there's another selection. So you've got a lot of options to move through that multi-viewing mode and then move back to the standard mode where you can move between the inputs. So what you have here is a single unit that's really a couple of different functionalities into one unit. You've got the switch, which is a four input, single output switch. You've got KVM functionality for your computers, and you've got a multi-viewer mode where you can actually combine multiple inputs on a single output display. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UKM-401MV helpful. This single product is really several products in one. It's a four input HDMI switch, which allows you to very easily connect four different HDMI media devices or computers to a single ultra high definition monitor at the same time, while providing complete flexibility over which of those media streams is being displayed on that monitor at any given time by simply tapping a button on the front of the unit or by using the infrared remote control. But it also provides KVM functionality, which allows you to connect the keyboard and mouse up to the unit and have those peripherals follow your input selection. It also provides USB 3.0 connections, which again will follow your input selection. And finally, it's a multi-viewer, which allows you to combine multiple inputs at the same time on that single monitor. It fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content, and it's both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's gonna work perfectly fine with all of your modern media equipment and computers. It also provides audio extraction capabilities where it will digitally separate the audio component from the HDMI media stream you're displaying and allow you to pass that along through an analog or a digital connection to an external soundbar or maybe an amplifier system for that full theater experience. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.